Florida homeowners insurance. Well, this topic seems to spark a thousand questions and I'm getting calls, DMs, emails regularly asking me about insurance. So I thought today, let's just break this down and I'm gonna answer as many questions as possible. So if you're one of those people that are wondering, can I even get insurance in Florida? Or perhaps you're wondering, do you have to have hurricane insurance or flood insurance? Or what about, what is this actually going to cost me? And finally, how could I possibly mitigate the cost of homeowner's insurance? And there's so many other questions, but I'm definitely going to try to answer as many of these as possible right now. Let's get started right away with, can I get insurance in Florida? And the short answer is yes. Yes, you can. You can get insurance. Now, what the cost may be, that's the variable. However, we know that in the past three years, at least 30 companies have either become insolvent or have chosen to stop writing policies in Florida. Companies such as Farmers Insurance and Bankers Insurance have just chosen to leave Florida. There are a number of insurance companies that have started doing business in Florida though, such as Mainsell Insurance or Orion 180 Insurance Company. So the cost of insurance in Florida in the last three years has actually increased by 102%. And that is approximately three times the national average. So the average Florida homeowner is now paying about $6,000 a year for home insurance. And that's across the board. So remember that is just an average. Now I am not able to give you quotes as an insurance agent. I have some wonderful insurance agents that I work with. So if you would like their names, please let me know. And I am happy to share that with you. I'm also going to be sharing with you throughout this video, cost and quotes and things that my clients, myself, my colleagues have all experienced in the last year. So keep in mind, all of these things are situations that we face every day. But again, there is no possible way to determine the actual cost until you actually speak to an insurance agent. I just am using examples for today's video to give you a range. Now, before we dive into what to expect for cost, I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching and visiting. I'd love it if you would subscribe. My team and I love helping so many of you buy, sell, and invest in real estate here. So just give us a call. And also, I would love to hear your feedback regarding Florida insurance. If you've experienced it firsthand, if you have questions, please leave it in the comments below. Okay, let's talk cost and how a number of factors are dictating this cost. Let's start with brand new homes as we sell a lot of new homes and people ask me about that. Naturally, new homes are the easiest to insure as everything is new. The roof, the windows, the water heater, everything. But remember, location is key. So as long as you're located in flood zone X and flood zone X does not require flood insurance. My clients are typically getting quotes between $1,500 and $2,500 uh, annually on a new home. Again, this ranges, this is an estimate, and this should not be taken as absolutes or professional quotes. Now let's chat about existing homes. Let's say homes that are over 25 years old. This is where it's going to get very interesting. So let's say your home is somewhere between 25 and 40 years old. You're going to naturally have older windows. The roof most likely has been replaced or once or twice at least, and specifically if you have a shingle roof. But what if you have a tile roof? Now tile roofs are thought to have a lifespan of 30 or 40 years. So may not have been replaced in this scenario of your home being 25 or 30 years old. And insurance companies to write a policy on a home with an older roof are going to require an inspection. And the inspector must determine that there's at least five years of life left in that roof for the insurance company to write a policy on that. So if you're purchasing a home that is, let's say 25 years old, and it does have a tile roof, you need to know that that roof probably in the next five or six years is going to need to be replaced. So that's a big expense to consider when buying a little bit older home. Replacing one's roof is easily one of the biggest expenses we have as homeowners. So we want it to last as long as possible. So I know this is very frustrating. Other factors in the home that are definitely going to affect your cost do include your doors and windows, including any skylights, 
any uh, sliding glass doors, any garage doors. And remember, you will get a discount for updated windows, but every opening has to be new for that discount to go into place. And also, they do not want to insure homes with old hot water heaters. They're saying that your hot water heater should be less than 10 years old. And also they are looking at your electrical panel. There are some electrical panels here in Florida that they will not write coverage on. So these are all things that are really, really important to know that go into the cost of your home. Other factors that exist as well, some homes were built without block construction because 40, 50, 60 years ago, it was not required in the state. Now, the state has put a lot of new guidelines in place to keep our homes safer, and block construction is one of them. Um, hurricane windows, hurricane shutters, those are all things that are now in place to help keep your home safe. And it's really important to keep in mind, however, that these guidelines are not for everyone. So if you're coastal, the guidelines are gonna be much more strict than if you're inland. So um, it's not one rule for everyone. Now, before wrapping up on cost, remember that if you have a mortgage, your lender will require you to have insurance. And if for some reason you drop that insurance, the lender can place insurance on your home and most likely it's gonna be expensive than anything that you had before. Let's move on to what does insurance cover or how do you know what insurance you need? I'm often asked about hurricane insurance. Wind coverage is actually what we have here in Florida and is part of almost every policy in Florida. And it covers your property and structure from damage created from wind storms, tropical storms, hurricanes. And wind coverage though will have a completely different deductible than your standard policy. Just to make this a little bit more confusing, right? If you have full coverage on your home and your deductible is $1,000, well, the wind deductible could be two to 4% of your home's value. So for instance, if your home has, let's say an electrical fire and you have a $1,000 deductible, that is all you're responsible for. However, if your roof is blown off in a hurricane and the deductible is 2% of your home's value, and your home's value is 600,000, well, that's $12,000. Let's say that roof was $20,000. So you're still responsible for 12,000 of that 20,000. So it's a big, big difference. And while we're on the subject of what is being covered, I want to briefly discuss some things about flood insurance as it relates to cost of repairs. Now, flood insurance is for flooding and rising waters. If your roof fails during a tropical storm and your home is flooded from rainwater, your standard policy goes into effect. If you're flooding from rising waters and you get a foot of water in your home, then that is flood insurance and you'll have to file separate claims. Now, before moving on to flood insurance, I do want to add this too. Most of us here in Florida have lanai's and pool cages. A lot less companies are actually covering the replacement cost of this, particularly the screens and things like that, the structure of this. So before signing anything, ask that question about your pool cage. Okay, now we're gonna move on to flood insurance and go a little bit deeper. First of all, flood insurance is determined by your flood zone, your elevation, your likelihood of flooding, and what FEMA says. Remember, flood insurance comes through FEMA. Also, flood policies cover up to $250,000 for residential dwellings. So if your home is flooded during a storm and your home is worth a million dollars, you're not getting a million dollar check. Now, the most you're gonna get is $250,000. And they are going to come in and research every inch of your property to determine if the damage is caused by flooding or natural causes. So for instance, I have clients that are getting a new roof from an insurance claim due to a storm. And although they also have flood insurance, the damage to the home was for the flooding was just a couple inches of drywall, a couple inches of cabinetry. So it's not like they can rip out all of the drywall and redo because the flood insurance is only covering a small portion of that. So there's a lot of different things to go into claims, whether it's wind, whether it's flooding, or whether it's standard policy. So there's a lot to know. Before moving on to ways to mitigate some of your costs, I do wanna talk about Citizens Insurance Company, which is Florida's 
insurance company, which was founded in 2002 by Florida legislation to help residents that could not get coverage from private sector. Now, when it began, citizens insured about three, 400,000 people. A year ago, it has insured about 1.4 million. That number has started to decline as you're not able to use citizens insurance if you can find a private company that will insure your home within 20% of citizens cost. Also, citizens now limits the dwelling maximum insurance value at 700,000. So you can see that it's not for everyone. And also beginning in January, 2024, citizens may require you to have flood insurance. Actually, they're phasing in a program and currently in 2024, any home valued over 600,000 that they insure is going to be required to have flood insurance. Now, other homes are going to go into this program as well, all the way through 2027, and then every home and citizens will be required to have flood insurance. So one thing about flood insurance, if you are in flood zone X, or you are very high elevation, lots of things are gonna go into play of what that's gonna cost. So if the risk is very, very low, the cost of flood insurance is low. So just keep that in mind. So even if it's required, it's probably a couple hundred dollars a year. And again, and don't quote me on that, but it's much more affordable than if you're in, let's say, coastal area uh, for flood insurance. All right, let's move on to the last section here, which is how to mitigate some of these costs. So a few ways to make sure that your home is in good working order and that you might be able to mitigate some cost is having someone come and check your roof, specifically after a storm. So um, if we've had a storm, shingles blow away, uh, tiles, tile roofs will, some of those tiles will slide, get out of place, and it's good to make sure that everything is in good working order so there's no water leaks. Also, an inspector every once in a while just to make sure your hot water heater is in good working order, things like that. And do remember that if you're going to upgrade any of your windows or doors, that you're not gonna get an insurance break on that unless you do all of them. So it's a lot to know. Now, another way that might save you some money is a program in Florida called My Safe Florida Home. This is a program where you can apply for grant money to make improvements to your home. And areas of that the money can be used is definitely in the roofing, but also in doors and windows. So if you are going to apply for this grant, do keep in mind that for every $1 you spend, the grant will pay up to $2, so up to $10,000. So as an example here, let's say you want to put in new windows and the cost is 15,000, you would be responsible for 5,000 and the grant would provide 10,000 for new windows. This is gonna really help lower your insurance cost. Now, one thing with this program, currently they are not taking applications. However, they're going to open that up July 1st, 2024. So keep that in mind if you're looking at making some updates to your home. Now, do you have any questions about insurance or anything that we talked about today? Please let me know. I know insurance costs in Florida is a very big concern and it's a bit overwhelming. So be sure to do your research because sometimes the age of the home, the age of the mechanics, all this really changes the cost of insurance. And I'm dealing with a lot of people that are trying to decide between an existing home and a location they love, or do they have to buy new just to make sure that their cost is a little bit less. So again, if my team and I can help in any way, just give us a call today. I really appreciate all the feedback that you're giving. Make sure to make comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.